Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's talk about this upcoming rematch. Seems to be a lot of rematches. Between Derek Chisora, who has been on a roll, and Tyson Fury. Now, before I go further, let me just say that British royalty in boxing, in the heavyweight division, right, Lennox Lewis and David Hay, I think they're both excellent fighters, both firmly believe that if they were to fight Tyson Fury, they would win by early knockouts. Right? Both men are on record saying Tyson Fury could not hang in the ring with me. Right? Now, understand there are many points of view on Tyson Fury. My own point of view is that Tyson Fury is an elite heavyweight. I think Tyson Fury, if he brings his A game, can beat David Hay. I think Tyson Fury, if he brings his A game, would give Lennox Lewis problems. Right? But you need to realize that there are those who have watched him. There are those who have been in the ring with him. Steve Cunningham. Who feel that Tyson Fury is a bit reckless and a bit too full of himself. Now let me just say, in my opinion, Tyson Fury is at a crossroads in his career at 25 years old. I didn't like his last fight against Joey Abel. Right? You saw the skill level that makes him really an elite fighter. He has the jab. The Abel tape, by the way, doesn't directly apply to Chisora because Abel is a southpaw. And in that fight, Tyson Fury fights much of the fight backing up, something you can't do against Derek Chisora, who's very front foot heavy and who, if you back up like Fury did against Abel, is going to cause you problems. Right? I thought Fury looked out of shape. In the Abel fight. It's a little bit shocking because he's 25. Really, 25 year olds shouldn't have the level of flab when they're professional boxers that Tyson Fury has. And unfortunately, in my opinion, the lack of fitness hurts Fury because Fury's not in there exerting himself and being diligent the way he should. Right? I thought his defense looked non-existent at times against Abel. It certainly slipped heavily during the fight. Abel has a great straight left hand. You know that. What's Fury doing getting hit with that left hand in the first round? Fury holds on after getting hit with the left hand. It surprises him. I personally expect championship level fighters to come in the ring prepared to take away their opponent's plan A. Right? Maybe if a bell hit Fury with a right hand unexpectedly, that would be excusable. But there is no way you should be getting hit with straight a bell left hands in the first round and look as surprised as Fury did, right? Fury has to literally hold on in that first round. Now, Fury has a nice jab. He uses length well. But even with those skills, he can counter excellently. He can switch seamlessly between a right-handed stance and a left-handed stance. But even with those skills, I didn't like the end of the second round. Right? Don't get me wrong. Fury's winning these rounds. But there are moments in the fight where... He looks in danger. 
Right now, he's lucky he's fighting Joey Abel here and not Lewis or Hay. Right? This Tyson Fury, who came into this fight looking not much better than Andy Ruiz, looked in his last fight. Another fighter who inexplicably, at times, looks unprepared for fights. Right? This Tyson Fury would no doubt look bad against both Lewis and Hay, right? This was Tyson Fury's C game. He's not close to the A game I've seen him have in prior fights. Put a different way, the Tyson Fury who beat Derek Chisora the first time, the Tyson Fury who beat Kevin Johnson, would easily beat this Tyson Fury. It makes no sense because Tyson Fury's 25 years old. He needs to get it together. Right? If he gets it together, if he gets himself back in shape, if he looks at films and looks at his defense and sees how low his hands were when he got dropped by Steve Cunningham, when he got his bell rung by Joey Abel in the first. When he got his bell rung by Joey Abel at the end of the third round. Don't get me wrong, Abel's the one who hits the canvas. My point to you is, the fight almost ends moments earlier when Abel lands on Fury. Right? If Fury gets back to being a student of the game and not a celebrity, in my opinion, he should dominate Derek Chisora in the rematch. Right? Fury dominated the first fight. I was expecting Derek Chisora to win the first fight. When Derek Chisora, who back then was doing a Tyson Fury impersonation. Right? Because for that fight, Chisora comes in heavy, inexplicably. For a big fight to defend Chisora's title at the time. Right? Chisora had... A British title at the time. Chisora looks like he left the buffet table and entered the ring. He wasn't his best. He brought his C game. But more importantly, skill-wise in that fight, Chisora tries to get inside and then finds out that he's the inferior fighter inside. Tyson Fury is superior to Derek Chisora at Chisora's own game. Right, And the difference between the two guys is while Tyson Fury can fight a fight against Joey Abel where he's operating behind a jab while moving around the ring and then shift gears so that if he's fighting a fighter like Derek Chisora, he can meet him in the middle of the ring and be the front foot heavy fighter. Derek Chisora can only fight one way and that's by coming in pressure fighter looping punches. Right? The problem with looping punches, the kind that Derek Chisora throws, is that, yeah, they'll get in on a guy unprepared for them who's blocking traditional punches. The looping punch will come in over here someplace. Okay, fine. The problem, though, is the loop takes more time to get there. A counter puncher who throws straight punches, like Tyson Fury, and who has... Tyson's Fury's willingness to literally sit there in the middle of a snowstorm and throw punches is going to land their punches before Chisora lands his. Let me also point out, too, that Fury is a master of using length, right? He's able to stay outside and hit you with jabs and then lean as you throw back. Now, here's the problem with Fury. And I hope Fury looks at Vitaly Klitschko tapes. If your defense at times is going to have you with your hands low, where you're just leaning back and rolling with punches, right? If you're the kind of guy who, during a shootout, actually steps forward and is prepared to deal with the punches coming back by leaning while you step forward, then you've got to keep your reflexes in top shape. 
right? You've got to keep your body in top physical condition. You need to be in the kind of shape that Vitaly Klitschko, who really is a Bernard Hopkins type, is in, right? Vitaly Klitschko is always in shape, always, right? Because you need to know that when the bullets start flying, you're not going to be off balance or slow with the reflexes because you've been at the pub drinking pints or you've been getting dessert in the buffet line. You can't afford that. Unfortunately, Tyson Fury at 25 seems to have had too much too soon. He knows his skills are superior to most in the heavyweight division. Now, if you're a Floyd Mayweather or Bernard Hopkins type person, you're going to think, okay, great, I have the skills. I need to keep this knife sharp. In other words, if my skills give me an advantage, I need to maximize that advantage. I can't give it away by gaining weight and hanging out and coming in flabby like Tyson Fury's doing. Right? No, I need to stay in shape so that whatever advantage I have, if I have great reflexes, if I have great hand speed, I need to keep those. Right? I need to know that my head's clear. I'm not going to dull my thinking with liquor or what have you. I'm going to make sure that I'm ready. Tyson Fury simply put, let me down. In this Joey Abel fight, I know officially it's a knockout. I know knockouts cause amnesia. I need for Tyson Fury to look at his own tape of this fight and ask himself how he gets hit so often. Right? Let me just say, for those looking at the film, look at the end of the first round. Look at the end of the second round. <clears throat> Look at the exchange at the end of the third round, right? Notice a trend here. It's the end of rounds. Tyson Fury seems to take his foot off the gas, right? I know he gets a knockout at the end of the third round. Just understand if Joey Abel packaged his punch a little bit better, he might have been the one knocking down Fury. Also, even in the fourth round, right before the knockdown, what's Tyson Fury doing getting hit like that right so Tyson Fury I think is a superior fighter to Derek Chisora who I think is going to just try to come inside Chisora has a Joe Fraser Bob for about two rounds then his physical fitness gives out he's standing pretty much upright he tries to come in he's trying to throw looping punches Fury should be able to get off several clean punches Fury hits very hard. Fury has a great counter right hand. Fury can throw an uppercut. I believe Fury should win this fight. Should be able to batter Derek Chisora. Right? But I do question Fury's commitment to the sport. I definitely question his level of fitness. He was supposed to be training for fights against David. Hey, those fell apart. Okay. But he should have been in training camp for those fights. How do you come into a fight against Joey Abel looking out of shape with this much flab? How are you getting hit so early in the fight with Joey Abel's left hand? Right? If Tyson Fury gets it together, I think he's the best heavyweight in the United Kingdom. Right? He has work to do. To the gamblers, I say you want to have at least a portion of your bet kept in your wallet before you make it. Keep your cash on you until you see the shape Tyson Fury is in close to the way in. Right? If this guy's looking flabby and stuff like that, Stay on the sidelines for at least that portion of the bet. Early on, you could put some money on Tyson Fury. He's the more talented fighter here. 
But if he looks like he hasn't trained, if he looks distracted and stuff like that, be careful. This is a 25-year-old who right now hasn't figured out the commitment to the sport that the Hopkinses and the Mayweathers know needs to be made by even the most talented guys. Right? Fury has the talent. The question for me is whether he has the dedication. I like him over Derek Chisora. Right? But I'll concede I was not impressed with the Abel fight. Let me just say this too. Fury is so talented that in this fight, and I hope George Groves looks at the fight at different times, Fury waves his right hand just to kind of like let Abel know, I can land this. Fury also has a move he does where he wipes the dirt off his shoulder during the fight. In fact, he gets a knockdown and he goes like this. It's actually powerful stuff. My point is simply, he's a showman, and that'll help him in fights with the judges, right? Guys who have hand speed advantages in fights, who are better athletes like George Groves versus Carl Froch, need to kind of look at these little showmanship type moves that a guy like Fury does and think about incorporating it into their game. A guy with a hand speed advantage who has the other person already kind of like on their back foot, needing to be weary of a hand speed, has an advantage to showboat a little bit. I enjoy Tyson Fury showboating. I enjoyed his punching power. I enjoyed his jab. I enjoyed his use of length. I appreciate watching a guy on his back foot when I know he has a front foot game. But Tyson, come on now. When you're getting hit this many times in a four-round fight, when the end of the third round looks like a shootout where you could have been dropped. When even in the fourth round when you get the knockout, it looks like you could have been dropped. You're cutting it way too close. Right? The Abel fights a C game performance. Fury needs to at least get back to his B or A game if he's going to be taken seriously in the heavyweight division. In my opinion, he's so talented he still beats Derek Chisora. But he should be setting his sights, quite frankly, at Vladimir Klitschko, the men ruling the roost right now at heavyweight. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for stopping by.